Hey guys, it's Dave, your mortgageguy.com, and let's talk about USDA loans. I've been doing mortgages for 20 years, and I'm not gonna lie, for the last five years, I really haven't seen a lot of USDA loans, uh, or any for that matter, but I'm now dealing with two of them um, and getting a third one coming in, and so they seem to be coming back in popularity, and I wanted to go over some things to keep in mind. Uh, one of them, <clears throat> the client got referred to me um, from a past client, mutual friend of theirs, and the lender that he was working with openly admitted, hey, I don't do USDA loans. You may want to find somebody who specializes in them and knows what they're doing, which is me, right? So very thankful for that opportunity. So not a lot of lenders know what they're doing when it comes to USDA loans. Here's the things that you need to know. Number one, it's income-based. So there's income limits based on family size, based on the county, okay? The property has to fall in a rural area, okay? You can look this up on USDA's website under property search, um, and it'll tell you. And it doesn't go by counties or cities. It actually kind of is weird on how they do it because on one street, a home could qualify, and four streets over, it may not, even though they're very close, okay? So keep that in mind. <clears throat> They're going to have a minimum of a 640 credit score required. They're going to have a tighter debt to income ratio than a conventional or even an FHA loan. So not the most aggressive loan, but they will have no down payment. And they do have kind of what's considered like mortgage insurance in the mortgage, which is significantly less than an FHA loan. So if you do qualify there's a huge probability it's the best loan for you, okay? Now, in the process, the lender, myself, will underwrite it, approve it, clear to close the file. Then it goes to USDA, where they have to review it and sign off on it. That additional period can take anywhere between a week to two weeks, depending on what's going on. So you want to give yourself enough time when making a USDA offer, maybe ask for 45 days, right? I may not need it. We have one now where we're not going to need it, but it's better to be proactive and, and kind of request that amount of time so you're not putting undue stress on the process, right? So again, USDA loans, fantastic loan programs. Not all lenders do them and not all lenders even know what they're doing, right? So make sure you find somebody who knows what they're doing. Make sure you qualify. So the income limits for the county and where you're home shopping, right? One of them we have now is in Rosenberg. And another one of them, I think, is in Willis. So Houston area suburbs, right, that are qualifying for USDA. Call or email me if you need anything, specifically a USDA loan. Comment down below. And if you find my videos helpful, I'd love to be your lender. Thanks, guys.